five at five. The advancement in DNA technology continues to lead to wonderful discoveries like the identification of long lost loved ones. Today's hometown hero is about an Indiana boy who died in battle during the Korean War. But Jimmy Coleman of Clinton was never identified until recently. Occasionally, when you least expect it, something amazing happens. Mary Kincaid Chauncey spent over 70 years wondering if her brother would ever be identified. He was killed in battle in Korea. But thanks to DNA, Sergeant James Coleman is coming home. Yeah, it's just been like a miracle to me. It's just, it amazes me that they never give up on those who are lost. As an older brother, Mary looked up to Jimmy and considered him a hero, and he was. Especially when smoke started to fill their home in Clinton. Mary says Jimmy, who was a teenager, took her to safety in a fun way. He uh, got on his hands and knees and told me to lay on his back. He was going to give me a horsey ride. And he just said, don't be afraid. We're just going on an adventure. <laughs> so, my hero. <laughs> She also remembers Jimmy singing and playing the guitar, including his special song for her, You Are My Sunshine. At the very end of World War II, Jimmy joined the Army. He wanted to make the military his career and eventually received orders to serve in Korea. Mary says before he left, his musical ability caught the attention of the famous entertainer Tennessee Ernie Ford. I do. I just wonder where his life would have taken him, and we never know what's going to happen when. Only, the, only God knows that. Mary's mom had health issues, and doctors recommended a drier climate, so the family moved to Nevada. It was there when they received the news that Jimmy was missing in Korea. Jimmy received the bronze and silver stars for saving the lives of his squad, including carrying a wounded soldier to safety, like he did with Mary years earlier. Mary says after Jimmy was killed in battle, the unidentified Americans were eventually buried in an unknown soldier's grave in Hawaii. Several years ago, Mary's other brothers submitted their DNA for testing. Her brothers, who have since passed away, didn't think a positive ID would ever happen, but it did. But you know, when the Army called me and said they found him, it did make a difference. It made a big difference. As for Mary, she was once a casino cocktail waitress. Later, she was a member of the city council and the county commission in Las Vegas. Oh, and she also took time to raise eight kids and operate a business. Throughout the years, she was inspired by Jimmy and her brothers. I, I, I guess that's why I wound up in politics, because that's how I felt I could help. Mary's patriotism and love of country was evident at an early age. As a 14-year-old, the pain of Jimmy's death led her to write a poem about those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for the nation. When you think of all the loved ones who died to make us free, you wonder how the rest of them so far across the sea feel about the deeds they did that never shall be told, the deeds they did for hope and love but seldom leave for gold. My mother's tears, my father's grief, I see so vividly and say, O oh, ruler of us all, why does this have to be? To him I pray, and only him, this prayer I now recall. O oh, gracious king, so high above, guide and protect them all. Just a few weeks ago, the remains of Jimmy Coleman were brought to Arlington National Cemetery. Mary was there along with many members of her family, including a number of family members who are in the military. Mary said it was very emotional as her hero received full military honors from a grateful nation. Still ahead in our second half hour of Live at Five, what we know so far about a deadly mass shooting at a Walmart in Virginia. We'll hear from store employees and customers who survived that ordeal. And the man accused of opening fire inside a Colorado Springs nightclub makes his first court appearance in the case.